Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Miley Cyrus, and we mentioned your family. You have a very loving, supportive family. You also might have the world's best godmother. Yeah. Dolly Parton. Pretty lucky. Yeah. You yeah. were really amazing. Yeah. You guys lucky. did a Super Bowl commercial uh, yes. together. You've done uh, album work together. Which was amazing, because, you know, she was doing it for the phones, yet every time I coordinate and kind of communicate with Dolly, it's still through fax. You have to... So, so I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> She's rarely on the phone. Next so time we have to do it for the fax machine. So if you see her in a machines. commercial talking about how great phones are, just know that's some false well, advertising. <laughs> we do use the phone, but she does a fax, and then someone scans the fax, and then they put it into a text message, and then that gets sent to me. No. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always signed. So now I've kind of started my own version where I go into the notes, and I've, I've, I've started to try to make my own letters because there's something so amazing. It's just about a connection. It's just not casual, you know, you know that yeah. she took the time yes. to get out, I guess, her typewriter. She also made me a, <laughs> she made me a demo one time where she talks about being super high tech, but it was all through a cassette, which then she voice memoed onto a flip phone, <laughs> which someone then put onto the iPhone, which then got sent to me. I like, yeah, I like that she uh, recorded on a flip phone, yes. then she FedExed you the flip phone. Yes. <laughs> She has a phone, she just doesn't use it, That's I don't really... think. I think someone uses it for her and yeah. does the fax machine through the phone. I mean, I should uh, uh, make it very clear that while we're joking about this, nothing would make me happier than if somebody knocked on my door and said, uh, fax from Dolly Parton. Yeah. I'd be like, what? From like a, a pink <laughs> pigeon or something. Yeah, exactly. a, a flamingo probably yeah, exactly. delivered There's just like a, a pigeon knocking on the glass outside yes. the window. With long acrylic nails, <laughs> big boobs, and a blonde wig. The Dolly well, pigeon. I think that's Dolly's pigeon, yeah. yeah. Um, you uh, you did a cover of one of her songs uh, last time you were on SNL. Did you ask? Did you tell her beforehand you were going to do that, or did she? Well, that's that another Lauren thing. I didn't know beforehand I was going to do that. Okay, so what day does he let you know? That was on Saturday afternoon. No. Yes. Saturday he gave yes. you a new song. Elon had a very long monologue, and mm -hmm. then they needed to fill however long of time that song oh, is. Oh, gotcha. And didn't have the sketch in between there, and Miley, you're doing it, you know. Wow. And so I kind of do, I don't, I guess my brand is kind of not listening to anyone, but I yeah. listen to Lauren Michaels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good guy to listen to. Okay, gotcha. And then what did Dolly think? Did you get good feedback via so, fax? Yes, I got a fax. <laughs> okay. Um, and she loves it. And she loves when I introduce my fans to music sure. in a way that's still me, rather than, Dolly doesn't want anyone to copy paste. She doesn't want anyone to just... Mm -hmm. sing her songs they want. She wants them to infuse themselves into her music, because that's what I think has made Dolly so loved, is again, the authenticity. I, I've taken a poll. I think Dolly is the most loved person on the planet, right? I think that that's probably a safe that's, bet. Yeah. 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 And again, it's just, she's been so consistently caring and kind and herself. And again, she didn't look like the standard female country music artist that was polite and wearing long dresses. She had big hair and big boobs, and she's left this big mark on the entire world, world that all of us are just trying to yeah. fill her crystallized shoes, which is never gonna happen. She was, uh, she was here once, and I went backstage, and I told her, my uh, son's favorite song is Jolene. She was like, well, let's FaceTime right now. And, uh, How cool is that? And so I FaceTimed, and then she sang uh, Jolene to them. No and way. And now, uh, the bummer is they think that I can just do that. And that you can just yeah. call Dolly whenever. Because they, they have a lot of thoughts. They're right. like, can we just, we'd love to talk to Dolly about this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. I know uh, you were, we were talking about being back uh, on the road touring again. Uh, I have to ask about this. You were in an airplane yes. uh, that was struck by lightning. Yes. Wh what was that like? It was really scary. I was in my mom's lap because I was pretty sure it didn't matter about the seat belts at this point. Okay, gotcha. And, so uh, you were in your mom's lap because you were crying, already afraid. Okay, and I gotcha. was scared. Yeah. And um, it was really very strange because it was unexpected weather and a few things that day. When I woke up that morning, I said, something just kind of felt off and not quite right. And when we were on the plane, it was completely unexpected. And yeah, we got struck by lightning, which then we had to do this emergency landing. Um, and we were in the middle of South America and I was actually on my way to a show, which by that point had been flooded and canceled. So there was just a lot going <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> and everyone's like, my guys in my band who are just, rock and rollers, they're like, we gotta get to the fans, we gotta still play the gig. I'm like, okay, no, we're in the middle of like the forest in a broken down airplane. There's 
floods where we're supposed to be going. The stage is sinking. And so uh, Brazil, where I was playing a couple days later, they were awesome. Um, they let us in a couple days early. And we were able to kind of take a few days to recuperate. Um, and just because all of us were a little traumatized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, was, that yeah. makes sense. That's very fair. Uh, well, we're glad you're safe. Uh, we've been very happy to have you here. Thanks for everything. Thanks and for uh, me. I can't What's up, wait. Fred?